in the humble hills of the avium savannah. You ain't a man until you settled up your first capybara. Howdy there, partner. My name's Woody Wild, and this is the Wild West. I've lived at the Locust Oasis my whole life, but now that our borders have opened, it's time for me to leave home and see the big white world. For the first time, Balamorians with a passport can enter Mistelin's borders, as well as a place called Port Serim that can take me over to Greater Corum by ship. Plus, I've heard of a land called the Wilds that nobody rules over, and that sounds just like home to me. I wonder if they have capybaras there too? I'm sure no harm will come in finding out. Hello there everyone, it's been a couple days since I recorded anything and I, I thought I'd just at the start of this episode let you know what I've been up to for the past couple days, grinding off cam and what I'm intending to do for probably the next couple days before I get back to doing exciting things on cam. Uh, mainly I've been doing Slayer, I've done a whole bunch of Slayer tasks here. Rogues most recently, Chaos Druids, Ice Warriors, Anku, Skeletons... Did I do skeletons? I don't remember doing a skeleton task. I have no idea why I've got those 80 skeleton kills. Anyway, Dark Warriors, Black Demons, Greater Demons. I think that was the last one that I had that I'd started on. Right now I've got a... I can't remember what task I've got. Spiders at the minute. I've been training my ranged with that and a bit of mage as well. We're up to 73 mage and 64 ranged. But it's very slow with the ring crossbow and broad bolts. So I've been looking into alternatives, and one of them that is actually new this time around in Leagues is a bit of a cheat <laughs> from my regions. The Hunter's Sunlight Crossbow was made available with the release of Valamore, but to get the original Hunter's Crossbow you need your nil. However, in this Leagues they're allowing you to buy the Hunter's Crossbow from Valamore as well, they've announced. It'll be available from a shop on Sunset Coast. So I think it's completely acceptable for me to go and get the Hunter's Crossbow from your nil and then upgrade it into the Hunter's Sunlight Crossbow and not use the regular one, just use the upgraded version that comes from Valamore. So I'm going to work towards it, but for that I need quite a few goals. We've got to get our Fletching and our Hunter up to 74 and 72, which is quite a way. We're both on 62 at the moment, so I need 10 and 12 more levels. It's going to take a while. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to get it done yet, but it's something that I'm going to be passively working on in the background because I think it'll speed up my Slayer training and I would prefer to have a solid ranged weapon for the farm that is going to come at the end of the Slayer training. Anyway, I just did some Winter Todd because I couldn't figure out what to do, so I decided to do some Winter Todd. So yeah, let's see if we get anything. I kind of thought like getting some logs here might be good for fletching and any herbs would be nice for herb law. We're up to 60 now. Ooh, pyromancer rope top. Let's go. Quam seed. Some logs. Avento seeds. Not the best, but snapdragon seed. That's all right. Not mad about that at all. We now have the pyromancer garb. Oh, I'm going to miss the, the colorful jumper. So yeah, that's just a little update on what I've been doing. Oh, also, if you're wondering why my pet looks different, uh, it doesn't, but I got a dupe. Look at this shit. Two. You have received two times heron. I got it today, doing the aerial fishing to see how viable that was as a hunter method, which... <laughs> at the moment, I'm thinking I'm just going to do chin chompers, but it's going to take like 3,000 chin chompers for me to actually hit the level. 2,843 chins. Looking like that might be the way though. Yeah, double heron. What the fuck, man? Why does my luck never come with useful things? It's just fucking pets that I don't want. Don't tell a heron I said that though. Anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to say for this clip. I do have four Laren's keys though. So why don't I turn those on while I'm on camera? Yeah, four of them. I also had a hard clue that was on five steps. I'll put an image of here in when I do the edit. I had five completed steps, and the fifth step was a bird of rot that screwed me over. But yeah, five all legal. I was recording, but I deleted it afterwards when it peered out. Because <laughs> I got frustrated and just deleted it. <laughs> so close to a hard clue completion could have been huge for us. One nice thing from all the perilous moons is that we had a shit ton 
of Harolanders, which means that I now have 171 energy potions and I have no problem just downing one stud at a bank. Oh, I also killed a bot the other day. I don't think I got that on camera. There was nothing major from him. He was on his way from Lava Dragons. Might be in my log somewhere. Yeah, here. Just some, some loot from a trip to Lava Dragons, basically. As well as doing the Moss Giants task. Four opens here. Garbage. Good. Very good. Garbage. Good eventually, but not right now. I'll take the Renar Seeds. Those are definitely worth the trouble. I was pretty much out of useful seeds to plant. Like, I've just got Aventur left and things that are lower. And I can't really make good use of Aventur. So I don't have an easy access to some mushrooms. So yeah, I think that's about all there is to update on. Got a little bit of fishing done. Got some Hunter done, some Slayer. Done some Prayer as well, up to 65 now on Mage and Ranged. Nothing major to report, but I thought it'd been a few days, so I should probably just drop in to say something. And we're almost 65 farming, which means we'll be able to use the herb patch in the farming guild very soon. Maybe after I've farmed these Renars, it will be up to there, so extra herb patch for us. Very nice indeed. Access to Hispori too, we'll be able to kill that boss for the first time and try our hand at the bottomless compost bucket. So yeah, plenty of exciting things on the horizon, but unfortunately for me, my immediate horizon is looking like it's going to be 3,000 chinchompers. Yeah. Two days later. What's up everyone? I now have 3,125 chins. That is the most chinchompers I've ever caught in my life, times about 10. So yeah, that was that was long. That took like two days. Spent the last two days just watching the Magic World Championships and catching Jin Jumpers. But we're done! We've got them! We've got the 72 hunter. I can now go hunt the sunlight antelope. However, I do need to still get 74 fletching before I can make the bow to use any of this stuff. So it's the next goal. I got up to 67 last night from I think 63 maybe? Maybe 62. Doing broad arrows. I have made 18,000 so far. I'm going to need to make about another 46,000, I think. So call it 50k more. But this didn't take that long that night. The longest part of the process is making the arrow shafts because I can't buy them. I have to make them. So at the minute, I'm just cutting maple logs. Uh, and it seems weird to use maple logs for 20 XP on arrow shafts when you can get 60 XP out of a maple longbow. But the way it works out is... 60 arrow shafts is four actions fletching with broad arrow tips. So even if we don't include this bit with the headless arrows, I mean, it, it, we may as well because it's an extra 60 XP there. So that's 20 XP from a log plus 60. That's 80 XP already before you've even added the arrow tips. Add the arrow tips, that's another 600 XP. So I can get 680 XP out of a maple log instead of 60 just by making it into broad arrows. It does take a lot of cash because broad arrow tips are expensive. I elked all my battle staffs and I'm left with 3,700 after buying 20,000 broad arrow tips. Do still have a bunch that I need to make though from the daily ones I've been buying. So we kind of got reserve cash, but yeah, it's going to cost me like another three mil effectively to get this done, but it is actually quite quick. Getting the maple logs, doing some broad arrows the rest of the way, gonna tank my cash stack and get ourselves the fletching level we need for the hunter's crossbow. I guess I'll see you all tomorrow probably. Twelve sleepless hours later. Well, everyone, as you can see, I am here getting my very first sunlight antelope antlers. I've already made some bolts here. I'm collecting a few of the furs, which I will go over the exact reason for in just a minute or two. But yeah, I'm going to finish off collecting a few more horns before we head over to the disgusting out of bounds area to get the actual hunter's crossbow itself that is available in League's rule sets from Valmore, according to how they're doing things in League's 5, so I'm adopting that slightly ahead of time here by allowing it in my series. After all, this is very much Valmore content. As you can see, it is a very nice chill process. And usually at this point, we would chisel these down and make them into bolts and just carry on. But on this very first trip here, 
I am now going to teleport to your dill. Just saving a few of these. Actually a really nice way of getting Sunfire Splinters as well. I got 98 there in... Oh, it doesn't tell me how many, but... Oh, 24 Sunlight Antelopes. That's like 4 per antelope, pretty much. Not bad at all. Like, that's pretty decent. So, I'm not going to be mad about that. Starting to stack up. Alright, let's get our cash and head over to the crossbow shop. I want to get a few crossbows so that I don't have to come back here. I mean, I may eventually run out and have to come back here anyway, but ideally this is the only time. Let's just make all these and then do some more. There we go, 15 Hunters Sunlight Crossbow. Oh my gosh, I don't have the ranged level. What? <laughs> oh, after all this. Oh! <laughs> I did not realise it had a range requirement. Okay, we're only two levels off. It's a good job I've got 3,000 chins in the bank, right? I guess I'm going to go to the fourth first dungeon and just use chins until I get to 66. I was going to keep hold of them. Let me get out of this area for a start. I was going to keep hold of the chins as much as possible in case we get slayer tasks where they're useful in future because it, it's quite a possibility with what I'm planning to do here on a bit down the, the grind timeline. <laughs> I was going to go just farm loads of ammo for this but since I can't use it yet I'm going to go use the chins on some spiders, some temple spiders, so I guess I'll see y'all when I've done that and got a bit of loot hopefully. Oh. Before I do that though, we've got this fur, we've got some cash. Okay, we've got a mixed hide top. I'll make another one, and then I was going to do a couple boots. Very nice. So we've got some new gear there with melee strength bonuses on. Going to be really nice for those AFK training sessions at the Nagua when I end up back there inevitably. Couple of these left over. Don't think I have any particular use for them. So I think I'll just make one more top. I'll just make one more top. How about that? And yeah, we don't have the bottoms. They require Pyrefox fur. We can get that. But they don't have any strength bonus on them. So I don't know if it's worth it over just like wearing prayer robes on the bottoms. Seeing as though we do have those at the minute. Alright, I will see you guys after the... 4 first dungeon spider grind two hours later well folks it's been a couple of hours but not a couple of hours playing i was just busy doing stuff it took me about 40 minutes to get the actual chin in done but we are done we can equip the hunter's sunlight crossbow and fire it look at this bad boy go let me find something that I can attack more than once so that we can see the attack speed because that's where this thing shines is the fact that it has I think a three tick look how quick that is let's go obviously I don't have my avers on and I'm not hitting because I'm not wearing any range gear but that's not the point it's going to be so much better for any just like random tasks just random slayer tasks or anything, it's such an upgrade from the RCB which has like a 5 tick attack speed. Might be 4 on rapid, I can't remember. But anyway, super nice to have that and we don't have to worry about losing it or anything because we got 15 of them in the bank now and we can recreate it as often as we like. I didn't bring a slash weapon, but I did, as you can see, pick up a couple of grubby keys during that period. About a thousand chins used already. And I've also finished these three tomes, so I'm going to go turn these in right after as well. Finish up that mini quest before I go to farm myself some huge stacks of sunlight antler bolts, whatever the fuck they're called. Grubby keys are always nice. There's never like a bad grubby key drop. There's ones that are better than others, but they're always useful resources. You'll see the pile of dead crew clues that I uh, dropped. Didn't find any good ones, unfortunately. Okay, here we go. Uh, Renar weeds and some range pot doses. 
That makes one full range pot we've had now in total. Egg potatoes, not a bad food to have either. Another range pot and some sour domin brews. Our first on the account. Look at that. We've got six brew doses and two super restore doses, which is actually the perfect ratio. Very nice indeed. A full super defense pot there as well. Lovely stuff. 20, another 10 Renar weeds as well. That's actually fantastic. Got so many prayer pots. Wonderful. Makes up for the five, six prayer pots, I think, during the chicken grind. Okay, and then we book it over to the Arceus library. And she gives us a lamp. And then we tell her not to give her the pages anymore. Because they're only worth gold from here on out. But this is lovely little 10k herbal RXP. Very nice indeed. Right, well I'm getting pretty tired now. And I'm just going to spend the rest of the day getting some more bolts for myself. I guess I'll catch up again with y'all when I'm into an interesting slayer task. I've got wildy spiders to do. I'm hoping for some rev tasks before I get out of this Slayer grind, which is a reminder is 62. So four more levels to go, plenty of tasks. Hoping for some revenant tasks so we can try and score ourselves some dragon plate legs that way. And if I do get any of them, definitely. We'll be doing the on cam, because who knows what could go down in the ref caves, but. Hey everyone, been a couple of days. I'm currently sat halfway between 60 and 61 Slayer. Still got a bit of a way to go. Unfortunately, I've done a ton of not very interesting tasks. Black Dragons, Scorpions, Chaos Druids, Moss Giants, Lesser Demons, Ice Warriors, Greater Demons, Hellhounds. All sorts of shit we've been doing on Slayer. We've got a ton of points built up right now, but we've still got a way to go. Right now, I've got a spider's task, and I'm thinking I'm going to try and do Spindle for the first time, because it'll be slightly more interesting than just killing spiders. But before we do, let's see this new boss. This is our first time killing it. Uh, we can fight the Hespori now. We have 65 farming, which means I can use this side of the farming guild, and I don't know how this is going to go, to be honest. Because I feel like I'm lower level, maybe? Or lower geared, definitely. Not lower level, but lower geared than previous. And I just realised I forgot my DDS, so let me go grab that. In fact, why don't I just pre-pot so I can bring a little bit of extra food in. Alright, here goes. Hespori take one. <laughs> And there she goes, our first Hespori kill. Two minutes, a little slow, but you know, like I say, we're not exactly geared for this. Let's see what we get. Dwarf wheat seeds, and an Atas seed as well. I don't have a seed dibber. Oh, we can't pr plant them for ages either, but that is the good one. That is the increased yield one, the best one. All right, another couple days while that grows. Alright folks, well this is the setup I'm gonna go for for Spindle. I'm being an absolute pussy and not bringing things like mixed hide cape and boots, which would improve my efficiency, but also means that my purple jewellery wouldn't be on the items kept, and I, I don't really want to have to make another combat bracelet or something, so... Yeah, and I'm going with the power as well, so that, that's down there. Budget, trying not to risk anything here, we'll see how it goes. The thing is, I'm not too worried about the boss itself, from what I'm aware, which isn't much. I've killed it like twice on my main a year or two ago, maybe. I don't think the boss is that hard. The main threat here is going to be PKers. So it's going to be a little quick trips. If I get anything that's worth value, then I've pretty much got to leave so that I can not lose my gear. Because, you know... Anything that's worth more than like 12k, anything that's more than 12k in a single item is gonna mean I'm losing my gear. Oh, there's somebody in here. Ah, oh, where's the exit? 
Wait, I didn't even know I could hop in there. Oh, okay. That's cool. Oh, we got one. Do, do I need prayer? I can't remember what prayer to use. Oh, fuck. I forgot about the mini spiders as well. I need to kill them, though. Mage prayer if I move away. <laughs> Slowest spindle kill you have ever seen for 14k. Uh, that was kind of rough. I don't know if we can even do another. I'm gonna leave. Okay, I'm gonna go give that another whack. Canoe to get there this time. Okay, got one. That's case lead number two. But three super stars. Uh, I mean, I could do another one. I'll try uh, one more. I've got the stars for it. Fuck it. die probably. I mean I have nothing so Oh what this guy's hoping for. Okay. And that's why I don't like going to wilderness bosses. It was extremely slow kills and that inevitably happens. Well, I guess I'm just going to go kill some spiders, because those were way too slow anyway for it to be really worth it. I was going to dip after that one and not go back, so yeah. What did I actually lose? Blue di bottoms, power army, some supplies, I think that's it. Well, at least we've had a go. We've killed a couple spindle. Going to go do some more slayer, some normal slayer. It would have taken us 20 kills to get a level, and those kills are just way too slow for it to be viable. So yeah, back to regular spiders. Hopefully I get some interesting tasks. I haven't had any rev tasks, and I really want to do some revenants so I can try and get the dragon plate legs, but so far it's just been boring task after boring task. So that is what it is, but we've got a lot of slayer points at the minute, 670, and I'm going to need a lot of slayer points for what's coming up so let me go and get some more i guess this is it folks the last one for 62 slayer it has been a very long long journey we're about to hit it i'm very close to a magic level as well which is 75 which means we'll be able to wear the blue moon helmet that we got so long ago now 62 slayer beautiful as well just grab these herbs right i do still have 82 demons left on the task but 
that's going to get me like half a Slayer level and I don't want to do that. I want to stay as low as possible from here on because the higher the Slayer level goes, the more different tasks we can be offered. And right now, I only care about one task. So, I'm not going to do the rest of this. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to cancel it, which will leave me with 740 points. I have done 42 Slayer tasks now. So, I'm 8 away from getting a big bonus. If I do need to restock, I'll get a ton on that 50th. But I'm hoping that we can avoid that with a little bit of luck. Because we can now finally fight Worms. Now, the problem is, y'all, the item drop that I want from Worms is a 1 in 10,000. 1 in 10,000, and they're not quick to kill. You need prayer constantly while you're there. It's a lot. But if you're on Slayer task, it's only a 1 in 2,000 rate, which is much, much better. Five times better. Still a lot but much better. So that's why I've been stockpiling these Slayer points. I am going to try my best to get a Worms task. If we take a little look. So this is the list of tasks that Konar offers sorted by their weighting. So what is more likely to come up. And I've highlighted all the things that we can be offered with our combat level and quest completions and stuff. The unhighlighted ones you, we don't need to worry about. We, we can't get those anyway. So you'll see the top one on the list is worms however there's a 50 50 percent chance it's the worms that we actually want in the Coron slayer dungeon and a 50 percent chance that it's the wormlings in the nepotsley dungeon so even that is 50 50 but it is the highest thing that we have access to highest weighted thing now black demons and blood veld and fire giants and calphite aren't far behind and we can't kill calphite and depending on the location of the others we more than likely can't kill those either because each of these have multiple locations and not many of them are doable for us so a lot of these tasks are going to be straight up cancels some of them may be doable and depending on how many times we have to skip to actually get that worm task i may end up doing some other tasks along the way but fingers crossed why, why don't we just go over there and see if we can't get ourselves one worm task i'm not going to start grinding them in this video because it's been like 10 days since i released anything and need to get some content out for y'all but i do want to see if we can get ourselves the task because then i've got some prep to do before i can go in there anyway because there's two things we're going to need a lot of for the worms first thing we're going to need is a shit ton of bolts thousands and thousands and thousands as many as we can so i am gonna go and get enough bolts to take me up to 75 hunter which is 455 more sunlight antelope times that by i can't remember it's eight or 12 per bolt per thing but whatever it is it's quite a lot of bolts it's a few thousand at least it'll get me started and once i'm at 75 i'm then gonna start collecting these moonlight moths because prayer potions are a finite resource you never have enough renar weeds renar seeds prayer pots you always run out eventually and there's no way to just stock up oh i'm still off camera <laughs> there's no way to just stock up on them like at will you kind of have to get a drop or something so moonlight moths are an alternative now it's one inventory slot for 22 prayer points so it's far less efficient per inventory slot than it is to bring a prayer potion because you probably need to bring like four times as many moths but for the amount of time that we, if, you know, we're hunting down a 1 in 2,000 slash maybe 10,000 drop, depending on how easy it is for us to get this task, we're going to be in there a while. We need some sustainable prayer. So I'm going to go up to 75, and then I'm going to catch a shit ton of Moonlight Moths to use as my prayer sustain when we're in there. Okay, let's see. That's not one. I think that is a pretty damn good way to close out the video. Who knows what we'll be doing in the next episode. Place your bets in the comments. I bet you'll never guess. <sighs>
If you enjoyed this episode of the Wild West, please do make sure to hit that like button. It helps out a ton, just promotes me into the world so more people can find the content that you're enjoying and we can grow this channel even further. And subscribe too if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the future content. I have a huge back catalogue by now and I'm only adding to it more as we go so stick around to see all of that by hitting the subscribe button. Look after yourselves, be lovely to each other. I'll see you on the next one.